the main thing that i did was the question bank which uh, i got from the speed the mock tests which were just be which were launched be around one month before the uh, iniss examination doing those tests that was the mess, uh, the best part that i could have done so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr manas sare for scoring a topmost rank of rank number 3 in aml in mch urology in ess session may 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you thank you so much sir great to have you here and uh, and thanks for your valuable time to share the valuable experiences of yours with us my pleasure so yeah can we can we uh, know a brief background history from where you started till date portal you have done <laughs> yeah so uh, i uh, completed my undergraduate mbbs from uh, vardhman mahavir medical college in sarvajing hospital new delhi uh, from 2014 to 2020 following which i did my post graduation ms from uh, uh, abvms and dr rml hospital new delhi from 2020 to 2023 so uh, after completing uh, my ms in 23 i gave my first uh, neat ss exam and uh, i was not happy with my rank because it was not great at that time so uh, i chose to repeat and i started pre preparing for neat meanwhile there was also inass exam was supposed to happen during that year so i gave my uh, first attempt at inass exam and uh, in the first one i got qualified but no i was not called for interview uh, in the second one i got uh, called for interview but uh, i got a rank 27 so uh, i was not happy with that rank because uh, i was aiming for something better and then uh, in this and the third attempt at uh, uh, inass uh, luckily i got through and uh, got a third rank meanwhile in neat ss i also i secured a 364 rank so yeah that paid off great now can we know why urology why your interest or the specialty was urology uh, any reason behind yeah the main reason for this uh, i i uh, my father is also a doctor uh, he is a surgeon so i have seen him work in the urology field uh, since i was a, a young boy from my mbbs time yeah <laughs> uh, from mbbs only uh, uh, once i was introduced to a uh, specialty of surgery i was uh, determined that i have to go into surgery and as i studied more in the surgery as a subject i was more and more curious towards urology so before entering uh, ms surgery i was clear that i have to go for urology after that that was one thing that I was i was pretty sure about you are fascinated about your father and legacy of your father and, uh, and the kind of way yeah, yes the kind so of that that, that, yeah yeah so that that's something that motivated me towards taking urology also I, in my ms uh, also uh, there were various uh, uh, many residents many seniors were there and they told me how the urology department works how what's the future prospects and also uh, they also motivated motivated me towards pursuing my uh, aim for urology yeah great now once you decided to do urology then what all you did to achieve this rank so what is your preparation strategy how much time you spent for this can you say something on your preparation yeah so uh, after completing my ms uh, i studied for around 3 to 4 months for the first any uh, ss exam after my ms examination at that time i didn't do uh, any other sarship or any other job i just sat and study uh, for studying i mainly uh, focused on the bailey and love for general surgery aspect and uh, the campbell for uh, the urology aspects apart from that the main thing that i did was the question bank which uh, i got from the speed the mock tests which were just which were launched be around one month before the uh, iniss examination doing those tests that was the mess, uh, the best part that i could have done because uh, once what i used to do i used to give a test and no i just don't focus on what the answer was given i just see the topic from which that question was asked and i used to revise that topic while reviewing the paper it took me 3 to 4 hours per paper to solve but that really proved uh, very beneficial in the last 10 to 20 days before the exam because 
uh, it helped me revise all the topics that could have been that that was important for the exam how much great doctor i mean uh, very very nice to hear and also you're very precise how you prepared can you know how many questions did you give in this exam so i attempted 77 questions <laughs> and i left three so yeah great what will be advice for the future aspirants of mch urology so uh, i would advise that just don't give up because there will be times while you prepare for this that you will feel like yeah, i am not getting any rank and uh, what should i do further just don't give up keep on trying Fo focus on whatever material you have don't rush around to get everything from everywhere you will keep on revising what you do and by time by luck by your uh, 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 the perseverance by the effort that you put it will finally pay off someday that's what i would say correct so no time to thank and whom all you want to thank they helped you from day one till date your career to achieve what you are today so first of all i'd like to thank my uh, family my parents my sister all my friends uh my teachers my guide uh all my seniors my co pgs all of them and uh, you sir for guiding because uh, uh what in in between what i used to do is i used to look at all the interviews that you post all the things that you say so that helps in just like i am speaking right, right now to you other toppers also spoke something like that to you as well so that helps you motivate during your uh, preparation and uh, guide you as well so i would like to thank all these people that's it so great doctor so great interacting with you great talking to you a lot of information student who are watching this video will take up a lot of things for what they wanted to do uh, so i once again i wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career uh, in the specialty of urology that was your dream specialty and uh, i'm 100% sure that your father will be the most excited and the happiest person uh, as of now i think he'll be more happy than actually what you are i believe so thank you sir <laughs> so wish you all the best and all the success and um, and i could visualize that how you have worked on into this and you have got into what you wanted stage by stage stage by stage you improved and finally you landed up Uh, yeah. wonderful and consistent persistent hard work that you have put in to achieve really inspiring best thank wishes you. once again thank you sir thank you thank you